The raw data we encode from our physical environment are just a random mix of sights and sounds, tastes and smells. The world we know of consists of what our eyes see, our ears hear, our noses smell, our tongues taste, and our hands feel. Man is dependent on only those five senses since birth. That is why he knows the external world only the way it is presented by these senses. Yet, scientific research carried out on our senses has revealed very different facts about what we call external world. Contemporary thinker Frederick Vester explains the point that science has reached on this subject. Statements of some scientists posing that man is an image, everything experienced is temporary and deceptive, and this universe is a shadow. We believe in the existence of objects just because we see and touch them, and they are reflected to us by our perceptions. However, our perceptions are only ideas in our mind. Thus, objects we captivate by perceptions are nothing but ideas, and these ideas are essentially in nowhere but our mind. Since all these exist only in the mind, then it means that we are beguiled by deceptions when we imagine the universe and things to have an existence outside the mind. The act of seeing is realized progressively. At the instance of seeing, light clusters called photons travel from the object to the eye and pass through the eye lens where they are refracted and focus on the retina at the back of the eye. Here, rays are turned into electrical signals and then transmitted by neurons to the center of vision at the back of the brain. The act of seeing actually takes place in this center in the brain. All the images we view in our lives and all the events we experience are actually experienced in this tiny and dark place. Both the film you are now watching and the boundless landscape you see when you gaze at the horizon actually fit into this place of a few cubic centimeters. When we say we see, we actually see the effect the rays reaching our eyes form in our brain by being converted into electric signals. When we say we see, we actually observe the electrical signals in our brain. The brain is sealed to light, and its interior is absolutely dark. Therefore, it is never possible for the brain to contact with light itself. The light of the candle never illuminates our brain and our center of vision. However, we watch a colorful and bright world inside our dark brain. In the same manner, the bird sounds we hear are also in our brain. If the nerve traveling from the ear to the brain was disconnected, there would be no sound left. Put simply, the bird, the shape of which we see and the sound of which we hear, is nothing but the brain's interpretation of electrical signals. The same situation applies to all our other senses. Sound, touch, taste, and smell are all perceived in the brain as electrical signals. Therefore, our brains throughout our lives do not confront the original of the matter existing outside us, 
but rather an electrical copy of it formed inside our brain. It is at this point that we are misled by assuming these copies are instances of real matter outside us. These physical facts make us come to an indisputable conclusion. Everything we see, touch, hear, and perceive is matter. The world, or the universe, is only electrical signals in our brain. Construct the outside world inside our heads requires us to select, organize, and interpret these sensations, transforming them into perceptions that create meaning. What you become aware of can be quite different from what your visual system processes. So that's where our intuitions go awry. We assume that everything that strikes our eyes is something that we consciously see, as opposed to just process in some way. What we consciously experience, that is perceive, as opposed to the sense organs receive, is very much influenced by what we call top-down uh, cognitive processes. Our expectations, for example, can affect how we perceive a stimulus, and thus many illusions can be manufactured by leading people to expect one thing or another. We actually see something different, depending on what we expect to see. I started to think about how can we dissociate perception from what I call sensation by manipulating the context. Let me explain. So there's a patch of light falls on my retina. Say it's a colored patch of light that's on my retina. And I say it looks red. So my percept is of red light. Now, I can then vary the color of the light that surrounds that one patch of light. Now, the question is, what is the sensation that's elicited by the central light? Well, I just told you it was red, but if I vary the color of the surrounding light, I vary the way that central color is perceived. So there we have a dissociation between sensation and perception. For you, reality is all that can be touched with the hand and seen with the eye. In your dreams, you can also touch with your hand and see with your eye. But in reality, you have neither hand nor eye, nor is there anything that can be touched or seen. Taking what you perceive in your dream to be material realities, you are simply deceived. For example, a person deeply asleep in his bed may see himself in an entirely different world in his dream. He may dream that he is a pilot and command a giant airplane, and even spend a great effort to command the plane. In fact, this person has not taken even one step away from his bed. In his dreams, he may visit different settings and meet with friends have a chat with them, eat and drink together. It is only when the person awakes from his dream that he realizes all were only perceptions. If we are able to live easily in an unreal world during our dreams, the same thing can equally be true for the world we live in. When we wake up from a dream, there is no logical reason for not thinking that we have entered a longer dream that we call real life. The reason we consider our dream to be fancy and the world is real is nothing but a product of our habits and prejudices.
This suggests that we may well be awoken from the life on earth, which we think we are living right now, just as we are awoken from a dream.